Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metenge Proprietary Limited, and in this short video, I want to discuss what makes a model complex and how detailed should your model be. So first, let me explain what I consider complex. More than anything, something appears to be complex if it is random, unstructured, unpredictable, and not documented. So a scenario most Australians would be familiar with. If there are three kangaroos on the roadside up ahead when you're driving at sunset, this is a complex problem. What will happen next is totally unpredictable and many of the possible outcomes are bad. Okay, so what about the opposite? Something simple. And for a bit of light entertainment, let's just have a bit of a watch for a few seconds of this video. So, I guess for any APL user, that array structure of people marching is... Um, um, something that is seen to be simple and, and we see that um, complexity is not about the number of parts it's about structure and predictability and this is why MedSim is the perfect system for reducing the complexity of process simulation it is well structured and the model is always well defined and documented all the time so let's consider a few things that reduce complexity by using the structure in a medicine model. So first of all, no matter how lazy you are uh, or disorganized, your medicine model is always completely documented in the all input data report. So there's no need to write a long report describing what the model does or what the set points are as MedSim does uh, this for you and any decent MedSim user can check the model by checking the all input data report and anyone who has never used MedSim can be shown in a few minutes what the report is showing because it is well structured next if you take the effort, you can simplify the model by creating user-defined objects. Now, some people consider a long list of user-defined objects as an indication of complexity. But what I see is a single window into the whole model laying bare all the tags or variables with easily understandable names and all the functions. And I know that the all inputs data report that we were just looking at will show me where every user defined object is being used. So let's consider a few of these. User defined scalars are named variables. They simplify the model. And user-defined functions are named bits or pieces of APL code. So they simplify the model. And user-defined matrices show the model has the ability to do more than one steady state condition. And they make things much simpler to understand. There are other ways to use structure and consistent patterns to reduce complexity in your model, such as the careful and consistent layout of your unit operations and streams. And there are certain styles um, and modelers have different approaches and some are particularly good. So those familiar with the work of Lisa Park will, will know 
of the um, very good and uh, standard layout that she uses, which makes looking at her models very easy. So in summary, the more of MedSim's excellent data structure that you do use, the simpler, more predictable and better documented your model will be. And the less of the defined structure you use, the more the new user of your model will have to guess what you have done. In the next video, I'll talk about how more detailed modeling using a mechanistic approach makes modeling your model simpler. Thanks for your time.